Hey everybody, Dave here from Iographer. Wanted to take a moment to show you a cool kind of hack that I'm doing lately uh, for making some cool graphics on the fly, animated graphics even, um, to add to my videos uh, when I'm out and about. And actually even for, you know, just doing it at home and you wanna make some cool graphics for social media, etc. Of course, I'm talking about this amazing app called Adobe Spark Post. For those of you who don't know it, it looks like this little icon over here on the right. I'm gonna click on it once and it'll open Adobe Spark Post. And right away you're shown um, this page that allows you to kind of pick and choose some fun stuff. And you can doctor them up and, and use them for all kinds of things. And we're gonna dive into that in a second. But first I wanna show you why I came to it in the first place, other than the fact that I cannot do Photoshop for the life of me, but I can use this and make some cool graphics for social media. So let me get out of this for one second. I'm gonna go into Adobe Premiere Clip, for example, and this first video here, I'm helping my friend Michelle um, do some stuff for her social media channels for some upcoming stuff, michelledozois.com. She is a, a top fitness expert, and we're trying to do some uh, super cool stuff together. Um, and so here in Adobe uh, Clip, I might want to add a title. So I'm going to click the plus button down here, click new title. And of course, uh, I'm stuck with something like this. And I'm just going to type in her name. I always spell things wrong. And um, we're good with that. And we'll, click, whoops, and we'll click out of that. And so now I'm going to click and hold and drag this to the left. And now I've got Michelle Dozois Fitness. I'm gonna click the start button. It goes for a few seconds and then it'll segue Decisions into her stuff. In. So, okay, that's fine. It, it tells you who it is, etc., cetera. And uh, we can get into the video and do all kinds of other things in uh, Adobe Premiere Clip, of course, but not good enough for me. So let me get out of here for a second and let me show you iMovie, for example, which has a little bit cooler um, text things in my opinion uh, hint hint Adobe get going <laughs> but I'm gonna click uh, on the clip down below and I have some options now in iMovie to click on titles and here I wrote uh, to save some time michelledozois.com I can go and click on some of the other ones and it'll post them in different ways and areas what I love about this is that it um, allows me to have an identifying thing up here. I can click on the lower one and bring it down below there. It allows me to have a lower element there that I can you know, fade in and out and, and keep things up there. So I do like this, uh, but it's still not what I'm entirely looking for. I want the video to start out with something cool. Certainly we could create something to begin with and import it and all that stuff, but what if I can't do all that? What if I just want to do something on the fly and also do something new all the time to keep it fresh? So let's get out of here for a second. Let's go back into Spark Post. So here in the, in the first screen you come to once you logged in, and by the way, did I said it's free, right? It's awesome. Um, you got some categories up here. So here's seasonal it's for lots of back to happy Father's Day stuff. I think that's past already. Crafts, uh, business, travel, food, etc., lifestyle. Let me click on lifestyle for a second and uh, maybe I want to pick something out of here to uh, to use um, so I can do something like uh, let's see I'll click on the story one for example and I click the word remix that's going to allow me to use it um, to personalize it so I clicked on remix and um, now it's there and I can click on the word stories and I can change that and I can click on this and this is a J.K. Rowling uh, quote, which I will never touch because she's amazing and I would be kind of a sin to do that. So anyway, there's that. And now I can change the palette if I want to, change it to different colors, give it a different vibe, um, do all that, click the checkbox. I can go into the photo here and maybe I want to make it a little cooler like that and do some stuff like that. And now I can click on animation and right now it's just a cool image that I might want to put up on my social channels. Maybe I've changed the text, etc. I can certainly do that. And I can click on grow. I can click on zoom. It kind of gives you that um, Ken Burns effect. 
All of that's super cool, creates an animation that I can use later in uh, videos that I have. So you kind of getting my drift so far? So let's get out of here for a second. So I need something for Michelle. And I'm gonna go back into my remix section. And first I'm gonna look through all of these templates here and, uh, and say, okay, do I like any of these? Do I wanna use something like this? Uh, for her stuff. Let's see. Am I in lifestyle? Let's go to lifestyle. She's a lifestyle um, awesome person. And uh, maybe we'll go down here. And um, what do I want to use here? It kills me to see uh, Dub Nation because I'm a Lakers fan. <laughs> um, let's see. I'll just click on this one. For example, I like the green and all that. And maybe she's talking about getting out and going back and into the walking out in the in the you know in the fresh air and seeing all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm going to remix this, and now I've got some options. So first of all, I do know it's a HD video that I shot with the iPad, so that's going to be a 16 by 9, and you can see this is square, so it's not really going to work with what I want. So up on top here, you've got three different options. The far left one is going to allow me to resize this, so I'm going to click on that. Now you can see I've got all these social media sizes. If I want to make a Facebook ad, many people are like, I don't know how to make Facebook ads. That's really complicated. Well, you click on that and make your ad. Um, here's uh, profiles. You know, lots of people have uh, YouTube videos that are just uh, a screen uh, uh, capture of one of the uh, pieces of, uh, of the actual video. Maybe you want to make something cooler and with a bit of uh, your picture in there and some information, etc. So no reason not to personalize things anymore. There's too many apps out there that let you do that. Here is um, the standard area, and we're going to choose, we're going to scroll over here, and I want 16 by 9. Now it resized everything for me, and I can do some cool stuff, and I'm going to double click on here, and I'm just going to type in uh, Michelle and Doze. Whoops. Big fingers don't work. Michelle Dozois. Nope. Dot com. And I'm just going to click done. And there it is. So I've created this cool graphic that I might want to use for the first part of it. And I'm going to click the check mark here. And I'm done. But I can do some other things. That This is where the power comes in here. In the palette section, maybe I want to change the, uh, the palette look. I actually like this one. That's nice. But you can change it to different colors. And I can show you some other ones there. Um, actually, that one, that pumps, that kind of pops out really nicely. Click OK. I can do some stuff to the photo there. Maybe I want to do a different color there. So I can do some stuff with that. Click OK. And now, animation. So I can fade in my, my uh, text I have there. I can do um, slides. There's a grow. I just love this. Here I can click on a zoom, so it's kind of giving you that Ken Burns effect. Super cool panning uh, left and right. I can turn it gray, blur it. It'll go from blur to uh, focus. And um, you know what? For this, I think this one I'm going to use kind of the um, Ken Burns kind of thing. I like that. So I'm done now. I'm going to click OK. Up on the top right, I'm going to click on this button and save as a video what's going to save to my camera roll. And then I'm saving it, there we go. And now we're done, we're gonna jump back into Premiere Clip. And here, like I said again, I had this just beautiful black text thing, not really. But I'm gonna to go to my iPad now, I'm gonna to go to my camera roll, and here's the video I made, and I'm importing it. I'm gonna get rid of this one, and now let's play this. So now here's our intro to our video and it fades over and I can even do something better. I can go back into this thing here and I can go fade in from black. So now we'll even add a little more impact than that. So there we fade it in and we have a cross dissolve over to Michelle. So much more, uh, much better, much, much better. Let's go back over to um, iMovie where I can do something similar. I can go up into my uh, video up here, recently added. Here's the video I did. I'm gonna add the plus sign. There it does, uh, it added it to the beginning there. We'll click play, and there it is, zooming in, cross dissolve Welcome to her. To your
Way better, folks, way better. But what if I want to make it really personal? Well, I'm going to go onto the web, and I was doing this earlier. I've actually got these captured already. But I want to find, I was doing some stalking on Michelle, and I found some photos I liked. And, and for example, this one I thought would work really well. So I clicked and pressed on it. And when you press on it, it says save image, and I'm saving it to my camera roll now. And so now I'm done. I've got the image I want, and I want to do something super cool with that. And we're going to go back into Spark Post. And now, let's just say I want to doctor this one up. I can go back in here, go to the top right here where we said we had three things. Over the left side was the resize, <clears throat> excuse me, was the resize. And then the middle is picture, change picture, and the right is add text. So I'm going to click the middle one. And I'm going to change the photo. I'm going to go to photo library. And I'm going to do recently added, and here they are. I'll click on one of them, and there it is. I've changed it. We still should have the animation. Yep, we do. But I don't know if that's working with this one. So I'm going to probably go to none for this one. And maybe we want um, some kind of a fade here with that. Uh, maybe the pan. No, pan one zooms in too much. We don't want that. So we're going to just do, um, we'll do something like that. A nice little slide in. And it adds a little thing. So now it's really personalized. Maybe the color palette. I'm going to change it. That's too dark for me. There, I'm going to use this one. I love it. Done. Go up to the top here. Clues video once again. We're creating a video. We're going to save the video to the camera roll. We're going back into clip. And we're going to get rid of this by clicking the X. We're going to do the plus button. We're going to go on my iPad to the camera roll. Here it is, we're gonna add it. And I'm gonna drag this one to the left. And now we should be able to fade in, and there's michelledozois.com, crosses over to her. Way more personalized. So once again, I've gone here, I press the button, it goes over there. And it's super cool. Let's jump out of here and go back into Spark again. I love Spark. Let's go back to, um, to the plus button down here. So we didn't explore this yet. So we went to Remix, which lets you go in and find all these pre-made super cool things on the fly. You can go to the far right, which are my posts, um, things I've created. Um, here's one I did earlier for, um, uh, uh, for Iographer, which I think is super cool. Um, and then the middle button, the plus button, we can start on the fly. So let's go in here and go... We can actually go back to the photo library. We can do camera. So if we're out somewhere, we see something great. We want to take a photo in front of the ocean. Or in Michelle's case, maybe she's at the gym about to teach and wants something really super cool. You can click on uh, search free photos. So they've got an area where you can find your own photos. Um, of course, you can dive into Lightroom, which is super cool. Um, they have an iPad uh, app now for Lightroom. And then if you have an Adobe, um, account for Creative Cloud, which you're going to need to be on this, which is free, and you're going to need it to be using um, Spark and Clip. Um, you can have photos saved up to the Creative Cloud as well. So we're going to dive into Photo Library from scratch. Um, we're going to go to All Photos, and um, here's another photo I had of her. And maybe this is just for an Instagram post, or here's Facebook, etc., etc. I'm going to go back into 16 by 9, and I can stretch it and do stuff like that. And I'm going to use that. That's my thing. Here's some text here, and I can double tap on that. And um, let me just double tap. Whoop. We're going to do, uh, once again, michelledozois.com, and click Done, and there it is. And I like the way it is. I'm going to keep the font that way. She's wearing green. It goes good with that. That's interesting. I wonder if the, if the app noticed that I was using that color on her and it picked that color. Very interesting. Um, now I can do some fixes to the picture if I wanted to, but I think I'm going to do none. I like that. And on the right, we're going to do, um, we're going to do a um, slide again. And it just slides in there like that. Or we can even do the fade, which will just fade in like that. And that's it. I'm done. I've done a cool animation once again. I'm going to click on um, 
uh, video. We saved it to the camera roll. After we do this, it'll create the video. Then we're going to save it to the camera roll and it's good to go. And we jump back into our favorite editing program, Premiere Clip or whatever, iMovie, you name it. Go to the camera roll. Here's our new one. And we added that. Oop, what happened? Sorry. And we added that. And we're going to get rid of the first one. And we're going to hold and drag. And here we fade from there. And we know it's michelledoswa.com. And then there she is talking. Take the challenge. Super awesome stuff. Uh, check out Adobe Spark Post. Adobe Premiere Clip. Uh, great, great products. Of course, if you're using iMovie, it works with those as well. Uh, but it's a great way to create animated titles for your videos. I'm Dave Basulto. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.